Hey everybody, welcome back for another movie hunting video. I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time and today I just felt like I wanted to do one. So I am over at Best Buy and Target and I'm going to see what I can see. There are a couple of things that came out this week that I wanted to pick up on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any exclusives for like Spider-Man uh, No Way Home. But there was another thing that came out that I'm probably going to pick up here at Best Buy because it's the only place local that I know that has it. Um, but I'll show you that after I get it. And, uh, other than that, I'm just going to go in and look around, see what they have and, uh, maybe hit up a pawn shop or two, see if there's anything cool there. And yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. So here we go. I'm not going to lie guys. This Best Buy has a lot more in the way of movies and 4Ks, Blu-rays and 4Ks, I should say, than a lot of the Best Buys that I've been to recently have. Um, and it's kind of cool to see some of the stuff they have here. Um, a lot of stuff that's been out. But again, a lot of places don't carry everything anymore. Um, Chaos Walking Steelbook. That's kind of cool artwork, but the movie sucked. Like, it was one of the worst movies I've seen in a while. Over here they have the newer releases, which you got Spider-Man No Way Home. And there's no way I'm going to find an exclusive for that that's all sold out. The only place I think I could get an exclusive right now is Walmart. And I wasn't totally sold on their exclusive because it's just a different slip and then digital content. Um, they do still have plenty of steelbooks for the Eternals. Which, I don't know, I got the regular one, I'm happy. I like the movie, uh, but I don't think I need an exclusive for it. Um... They do have some other stuff here. They've got Looper. I uh, was thinking about that movie the other day uh, with the news of, of Bruce Willis that came out. Was, that was one of the movies that popped to mind. Um, but $21.99, I'm not really sure I want to pick it up for that. I like the movie. It's a good movie. But, yeah. They do also have this exclusive for um, Sonic the Hedgehog on 4K. But for 40 bucks i'm not really sure i want to pick it up right now they also have these islands of different movies um blu-rays and 4ks mixed in together which again is more than i've seen at other best buys um they do have antlers here for 14.99 and i was interested in seeing that but i think i would rather wait and see it for free just because i heard not good things about it and i don't even know if i want to spend the 14.99 for it and over here, um, they have this kind of, again, island of different movies, 4Ks. Um, and they have Dunny Darko here, which I've always kind of wanted to check out. Because when Fletch on Movies talks about it, it sounds really interesting. But I don't know if $26.99 is a good deal, so I'm going to have to message him and find out. But I want to go next door, look, and then make a decision if I'm going to get anything else today or not. They have like a sale going on right now for kid-friendly movies, I guess. Um, on sale for really decent prices, like uh, The Mitchells versus The Machines is 15 bucks. Even over here on their uh, recent release shelf, they really don't have too much of every anything. They have some stuff that you see pretty much everywhere. Um, newer releases with maybe like one or two older releases mixed in there. Um, and this Friends, I think, what the heck? You gotta be kidding, that's gotta be a mistake. Oh, it is. These are in the wrong spot. I was thinking they were a lot cheaper than they are. Even for DVDs, that's cheap. So I am back home from my movie hunting, and there were a couple of different things that I wanted to get. I was actually gonna hold off on filming this part of the video until I had more stuff to show you guys because there were quite a few things that I saw that I wanted to get that I didn't get. But I just decided to go ahead and film this and show you guys what I picked up and then uh, do like a little kind of unboxing or show and tell of one of the things here. And I'll start with that um, and then I'll kind of show it in depth at the end of the video. And that is the Godfather Trilogy here on 4K for the first time. Um, this is the 50th anniversary set. There's also a bigger 50th 
anniversary set that came with all kinds of stuff, but it was like $130, and I didn't see it in person anywhere, and even if I had, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but I was pretty excited to pick this up on 4K. I remember watching this with my dad when I was younger um, on DVD, so I'm hoping that the transfer is really, really good. Um, but we will see, and we'll we'll look at everything on here in just a minute. Um, I want to show you the other stuff that I picked up. Um, this was actually a pickup the other day, and it's two things of the same item, and I'll tell you why I got two copies of it, or you might be it might be self-explanatory here. Um, the first thing is Snake Eyes on 4K and uh, digital copy. If you can notice here, it doesn't include the Blu-ray. So I was kind of disappointed when I got it. I ordered this from Walmart. I think it was around 20 bucks or something. Um, and I was, really wanted the Blu-ray because I still haven't picked up my 4K player. I have the 4K TV. Um, I have an Android TV that's really nice. But I still haven't gotten a 4K player yet. Hopefully doing that soon. Um, then I also went ahead and uh, ordered off of eBay the Blu-ray and digital copy. Which I haven't even opened up yet. So I might give that digital copy away to a friend. Um, I think I gave the 4K copy away because I did have it on for or Voodoo already. Um, but I just didn't have a physical copy and I like to have physical copies. And it, we can get into why in another video if you want. Uh, but that should be self-explanatory too. Not everybody has internet. Not everybody always has access to the internet, so being able to watch your movies in a physical form is always a good thing. So I guess we don't really need to do a video about that because I just talked about it. Um, and then I picked up Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, I thought I had the other movies on 4K, and I'm going to have to check again. I thought I had both Homecoming and Far From Home, but uh, they may have disappeared. So... It's one of those mysteries in life, and I haven't opened this up yet either. I'm looking for someone to give the 4K to, probably one of my friends. Um, and then, while I was at Target, they had a Disney or kids movie sale, and they had one thing that I already owned, but it was such a good price, and it's an exclusive, um, and that is the Target exclusive um which includes the film gallery and storybook here for Toy Story 4. Um, haven't opened this yet, haven't decided if I'm going to open it or if I'm just going to leave it on the shelf as is. Um, but it was 10 bucks or $9.99, and I thought that was a pretty good deal for, um, for a, a Target exclusive of a Disney movie. Um, I might be wrong. You know, some of you might be like, oh, whatever. But it's fun to have. Um, so let's get into the Godfather kind of overview here, because it's definitely not unboxing. I've already opened it and used the digital code. But this is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Godfather. Like I said, I remember watching this uh, with my dad when I was younger. I liked the first one. I thought the second one was incredible, and the third one was kind of eh. Um, but this is includes the... Uh, new remastered cut of the third one that came out in 2019. Um, and it, it has the title here we'll get into in a second. Um, it has a slipcover, which I, or, well, J card, sorry, not slipcover, that I probably won't keep here. But it's got all new special features, and I'll probably list those in the description box below rather than trying to read them to you guys or hold it, it uh, close enough for you to see. Um, so, they're all rated R. Um, the first Godfather is from 1972, and it's 175 minutes long. Second one came out in 1974, and it's 200 minutes long. And the third one came out, uh, it, it has the re-release there. So, I don't remember when the third one actually came out. So, but it is... The recut of it is 157 minutes long. So, um, definitely want to check that one out, especially to see if it's different. And then I want to find um, a copy of the original third one. I didn't think it was as bad as a lot of people complain about it being. But, um, 
I know that this is the the cut that Francis Ford Coppola did and wanted to do originally, I guess. Um, let's just take a look at the case here. I'm sure there's other people that have done videos on this. I know Bob's Movie Reviews uh, did a, a one for the big set. But we'll just go through and... These also came out in individual releases if you don't want all three. I think they're about 20 bucks each on 4K and blue. And they also came out on Blu-ray with a digital copy. Um, here's the first Godfather. That's a really nice artwork. Um, I can't remember all the characters' names. But you open it up here and you get... There's a wedding scene and the Godfather, obviously. Um, I'll probably try to watch these over the next couple of days. I'm hoping maybe I don't have to work some of the days that I think that I do. So that'd be nice to watch these. Um, then I have the Godfather Part 2 here. And I forgot the show on the back. It's got quotes from the movie. Um, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And then that's Don Vito, um, Corey Leona, which was the godfather before Michael took over. So, so look at the second one. We'll look at the quote on the back. Um, Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer, Michael Corey Leona. Um, after he took over for his father. Um, and there's a look at the artwork. That's cool. Um, I need to look at something here. You know what? These did not come with the Blu-rays. So, I may be picking that 4K player up sooner than I thought. Um, so then, the third one has got the quote of... Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Let's look at the front. And then this one's called The Godfather, Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone. Um, and that, it got the, the, I don't think it got the renamed title until they did the remastered cut of the movie. I think it was, just used to be called Godfather Part 3. Um, it also came with this, which is bonus discs. Um, nothing on the back there. And then, this is, and it's got the uh, Godfather Part 3 theatrical cut. Oh, so it did come with the original cut, um, which is really cool. So I'm not going to have to track that down. On 4K, so the actual uh, theatrical cut, and then it also included the remastered cut for anybody who wants to watch the the two and uh, see the difference. I definitely will be doing that. That's cool. I didn't know that it came with that. Um, and then you've got your special features on a Blu-ray here, and then a look at the case in there. But that's it for my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, leave your thoughts and comments below. I do have a couple other YouTube channels that I'm working on. One is The Hated Gamer, where I'm just doing exclusively um, video game stuff. I also have one that's going to be coming some point in time. I've already set it up and stuff, I just haven't done anything with it. It's called Five Things, where I'm going to talk about uh, different things and five things to like about them and five things to hate about them. Um, and then I have uh, Growing Up Boxer, which I'll be doing in July, or starting in July. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, my dog recently passed away, and uh, it was kind of hard. And uh, a lot better now than it was two weeks ago. But I have decided I'm going to be getting another dog and doing a whole set of uh, YouTube videos with him uh, or her whatever I decide to get, uh, something I wish I had done with my other dog, but I will be promoting those in 
near uh, channel videos. Um, so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Um, leave your thoughts and comments below if you picked any of these up, if you plan on picking them up. And, um, yeah, bye. I wish I had ended this video better, but it is what it is.